Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome back to Empire's SMP, where last episode we built up this lovely chapel or something, another like that right here, and oh my gosh, I love this room so very much. The spore blossom up here, such a cool block, flower, whatever you want to call it inside of Minecraft. I love it. And what I would also love, you click that like button and subscribe. Yay! Now, since last episode, I have been on the grind, my friends, by gathering up a bunch of gunpowder while AFKing over at the farm for probably a few hours. And then I also really quickly made a trade with Scott to give him some emeralds so he could get some books rocking and everything like that. I, it's more just for developing the alliance there. Here you go. Here's the stuff. Here's the stuff for Thank you. Thank you very much. And after that, I decided, you know what? We got a bunch of gunpowder and... I might as well get a bunch of sand. So let's go over to the desert and I just mined up sand and filled up the entire shulker box that we got last time and everything else that we possibly could have. And then coming right back on home, I was like, nope, no, not enough destruction, not enough mayhem. And I dove into the nether where I found not only one, two, three, but four more wither skeleton skulls. And that my friends with the two previous skulls that we had brings us up to six wither skeleton skulls. Absolutely insane. And that means we're fighting two withers today. I don't think at the same time, but we're gonna fight two of them. Now I've also been working on trading with the villagers a bunch over here so I could get a lot more emeralds. And we are so close to the entire base of a beacon over here. I just need a few more stacks and we are all the way there. But if we can find our lovely farmer villagers around here, I can trade all of these dudes and get a bunch more emeralds here super quick. Unless they don't trade pumpkins because I have no melons. You, on the other hand, do like pumpkins, not you. I need to bring some more farmer villagers up here into the village. So I think that's a big thing I wanna to tackle today is I wanna give a place for our villagers to sleep and hang out and be able to have more of them up here. So I'm thinking we're gonna tackle a big old inn or tavern build right over here with a lot of rooms for the villagers to sleep in. Now the grand total here brings us up to two stacks and 25. We need 36 to make this thing work. We're so close. All the villagers really love hanging out inside of here in the workshop and there you're trading. It's locked. You need to figure out a way out of here. Come on. Do you not like the trapdoors? No, you hate the trapdoors. Oh, now he hates that one. Okay, there you go. Just nope. Do I need to close them all? All of them need to be closed. Is that's what that's what you're telling me? And now you're just stuck in there. You look like a fool. But what also looks like a fool is this stuff right up here. I really love it when it was at that orange. So we can do this, and then we can do like two. Oh, that's gonna look really cool. Come to think of it, I believe I have a lot of beeswax. We might be able to wax it and keep it in that state. Just kidding, I turned it all into candles. It's fine, we'll fix it all later. It's totally okay and not gonna bother me a bunch, but I love that color variation there. Oh, it looks so good with the granite too. Take my pumpkins. All right, I'm just getting rid of these. Oh, they're almost stack emeralds for us right there, but I'm thinking, my friends, it is time to get those wither fights rocking. I've got a few golden apples, I believe. Yep, we've got five of them. We've got the wither skeleton skulls and we have soul sand right in here that I definitely know how to organize all of this stuff. Yep, very organized. Spooky, scary skeletons, uh, spooky, scary skeletons, and spooky, scary skeletons. I need some new heads to be placing on these spikes right over here. Okay, we'll deal with that after. Very important task. Now on Java Edition, the easiest way I know of fighting the wither and not running into too many issues is just running down into your strip mine, finding a long tunnel like one of these guys, and just building him right inside. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here. Oh, tough. Wow, I'll get that afterwards. The obligatory server warning of doom is incoming. Yay, withering heights. Oh boy, look at him over there. All right, let's hope this goes well. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, he explodes. Oh, wow, he that is a sniper of a wither. Looks like we got him following us down here, though. We can just fight him. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Not gonna take any more hits. No more hits, no more hits. Oh, he's moving fast. Oh, he's moving fast. All right, we can't hit him anymore with that. Let's just go and attack right over here at his feetsies. And we're gonna do it. It's gonna be good. We're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him. Oh, oh, he's getting us, though. He's getting us a lot, though. Oh, please die, please die, please die. Lagging, everything is lagging. And we did it. Yes, okay, we got one down. We got one down. Now let's just not die. Yep, just gonna wait for this wither debuff out. Let's get the tough block. Oh my gosh, we got a wither head. I love it. Here goes nothing. 
There we go, number two is down, and oh, we're almost going down here too. All right, and check that out. We got the armored invulnerable wither's head. Oh, I love that. Look how cool this thing is. Now that we're not dying, we got that one and that one. Oh, I love them. And as we must now craft two, not only one, but we're starting off fresh here with two beacons. My friends, check that out. Oh, it's so good. Gonna throw these guys right in there. As a show of our true might, let's go ahead and place the two wither skulls themselves back on the spikes where we had the wither skeleton skulls previously. Now, at the end of last episode, we met up with Jem and confirmed being in an alliance with each other, which is absolutely awesome. Then from there, I decided to build this awesome roadway all the way over to our place and this very, very cool bridge. The problem is the bridge currently doesn't have any water running underneath it, and I want to fix that here today. So let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time lapse mode, removing Wheat River back there and adding our actual watery river. I'm sorry, big interruption, wandering trader, small drip leaf, run, 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 get the emeralds, go, go, go. This is not a drill, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Where'd you go, buddy? No, don't tell me, don't tell me he's gone. Where is he? Wandering trader, please. You have drip leaf? There you are, my good buddy. How we doing? I would love that right there. Buckets of tropical fish? Sure, I'll take those too. Why not? Yeah, look at you. Bring back more stuff and you have plenty more emeralds over here. All right, buddy? All right, my friends, moving on to the next step here. We need to get as many emeralds as we possibly can because boy, do I need that beacon. I've got an idea that's gonna utilize a lot of these signs over here and maybe a little bit of a trap for uh, getting revenge for one of our allies. But there we go, my friends. We've got all of the emeralds that we could need for a beacon, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. We've got our beacons inside of here. So let's take those guys with us and I need to make a piston and a tripwire hook right here so we can get a trap chest. Under the disguise of night, Tom, we're headed over to Sausage's base to see if he wants to help get a little bit of revenge on Pixlriffs. Sausage, I have a mission! Sausage, oh, I have a what? mission! I have oh, a mission, on, I have a mission! On, Hi, house, house horse, horse I'm just close the door. Yeah, hi, yeah, buddy. Okay, I'll stay over yeah. here. He, uh, he okay. can stay over there. Anyways, yeah. um, yes. so I know we've heard that your uh, your villagers are now witches, and I think yep. they, you've pretty much narrowed down who's done it, right? Yeah, I know who it is. All my spies came at me in the last episode. I got concrete evidence. This is Pixorifs. So I've been I've been looking for a way to prank him just for the heck of it. I really don't have any reason to right now, except you know that I feel I feel bad because I'm not getting my books anymore. So I kind of want a yeah. little revenge on him right there too. And I've come up with a genius idea as a little bit of a trap. We've got a trap Ooh. chest. You yeah, open yeah, trap yeah. chest. Those. And since he's in the desert, sand is everywhere. Ooh, yes, we make yes, sand yes, yes. fall. You want to help me dig mm -hmm. a big pit? <laughs> oh, God! You have, get, you have visitors. Let's go. Hold on. Just give me a second. Where Where is horse, this take door? care of them. Hold on! Uh, hello! Hello! Um, no big deal. Just a pigman. Okay, there's some torches here. Okay, 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 okay. And... Um, hold on. Um, what did I do after this? I think it's this way. We might have to parkour. You lost? Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Let's go parkour again. Yay, feather falling. Okay, I think it's this way. Oh, no, that's the Oh, here's um, another fortress, fortress that Lizzie spawned in. Okay, yeah, that's the one I was. I, I stole all the stuff from first. I think it's around here. Oh, God, be careful. Ugh! Oh, God. I'm fine. <laughs> parkour like a champion, bud. It's okay. I'm good at these things. Don't worry. I don't have my, my preferred skin for it. This is in his storage room over here. I know he's working on this build right now. Oh. He'll see yeah, this. Actually, he will definitely see this. And we can just do it right here in the middle. He won't think about anything around here. Because if we do like this radius somewhere around here, I want to make sure it's big enough so that no matter where you are opening the chest from, unless you you're literally run. standing on top of the chest, like you're going to be falling down. All right, I will set up the beacon. You start digging down. Well, we got to get the I... signs down first, so uh, you keep me safe. Oh, we need to... Oh. No, 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 no! Oh. oh! Not good! Ow! Well, I guess we know it works. I'm just collecting a little bit of sand here while I start to stop laughing at you falling. 
Uh, so it works. I ended up on half a heart. Oh, wow. Okay, don't fall again. Oh, wait. But if you open it now... Yeah, we're not going to put anything in it. We're just putting a sign next oh, to it. Do not okay. open that chest. <laughs> you open oh that God. chest, that all <laughs> is undone. And that sand okay, gets okay. deleted. It will not end up on the ground. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Rem you remember it, too. Don't you forget. I almost forgot. Okay, it's fine. I thought we were going to put something fun in there, and I was going to open it and die. Okay, thanks for reminding me. All right, we're good to go. Drop that sign in here. We just leave it like that. Simple. Thanks for all your help. Oh, that is so perfect. That is very vague enough for him to just be down. Oh, oh, no big deal. That's perfect. I'm going to open now this Help me take sure. this dang Vinka down. We got to get this whole oh, thing yeah. down before he logs in. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. Perfect. Let's go. I got to oh, get yeah, my yeah. Take the, stuff. Take, you get it. All right. Run. Go, 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 go. Run away. Run, run away. Run, run away. <laughs> Let's go. We were never here. It's right down this way. Well, it's been oh, yeah. fun. Uh, I appreciate yeah. your assistance in the giant digging time. We did it. We did it before I yeah, logged in. Uh, it's great. I'm going to go back timing. to my base like nothing ever happened. Bye. Yeah. Hide, hide. Go bye, 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 bye. Thanks, go die. Well, that was some good digging work there, my friends. I do hope that trap works. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below if he catches it, because I think he will probably catch it before this episode goes live, unless Sausage uploads his very, very early here. But what I wanted to do was one, repair our tools here a little bit because uh, the pickaxe got a little destroyed as we were going through. So if we can repair the tools, that's awesome. And number two is going to obviously get a few more emeralds for ourselves. I still never have any melons. And number three, I've been collecting blocks of quartz over here because I know Lizzie is currently after a bunch of them. So if we could slowly build up some blocks of quartz here that maybe we could use to uh, persuade her to join our side in the upcoming battles, that would be very good. Having the ocean at our back, probably a good thing. We don't have too much right now, but it's it's a start. Next up, though, is it's something that I've been really needing to do is I need some way to just chuck a lot of stuff in a smelter and just allow it to go through and get all smelted up and everything in there. So let's make one of those really, really terrible super smelters. I'll be honest, I don't even know if this could be considered a super smelter at this point in time or just a big smelter. But if we come down here, plop those guys in that way, we do a little chest right in here. This will put the fuel in the side. And then if we do another little hopper action pointing into the top, we can put the things that we need to smelt in there and then they'll all end up here in the bottom. Yeah, that's that's not very super. We'll have to change that here soon. But what we can do with it is take all of these goodies down here that we really need to smelt up and just drop them all in the top. And I need to smelt a bunch of glass too, so let's do this. And off it goes. The system's working there. Check that out. All the iron and everything's going in from the tippity top and it should hopefully end up here. Now, we're not all about big, spooky, scary, evil things here, or are we? I don't really know. But what I do know is I love this block right here. And, ooh, I think we need to add some more of it around the base here. So I just want to get a little bit of building action done, see what we can do to transform this biome a touch further. Because, my friends, I've not built a spike to honor this beautiful block right here in far too long. So without any further ado, it's time lapse time. Well, my friends, I've been working out here for quite some time now, and it is turning out really, really cool. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing with the place. All I knew is that I wanted to transform this little corner out here, and it's fantastic. And, well, uh, Pixaros logged in. Yeah, and I, after we had uh, run away from his point, I left my camera account logged in over there, and he's too smart for us. He is too smart for us. My friends, we're going to have to be a lot more clever when it comes to trying to prank Pixlerus, apparently, or doing anything to his empire over there. That man is way too smart. Absolutely way too smart. He started digging before he even opened the chest, instantly assuming it was a prank. So we've got to be careful here. But we do have a brand new cemetery area over here and we can, oh, 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 huh, huh, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, but anyways, we can add some player heads here. If we kill anybody on the server, that could be kind of fun to collect them a little bit, right? We got, what, five graves that are 
needing to be filled in so far, that should be a good way to go. I need to say hi to my villagers after that failed prank. At least I can win some emeralds from them. Oh, man, that's a big bummer. But I'll tell you what, folks. It's time that we move on to some future projects here and get even more things rocking it. And I'll tell you what I kind of want to do next. I am struggling right now to get enough melons to be able to trade with these guys constantly. So I am very, very limited. But I feel like I'm at the point almost where we aren't going to need too many emeralds moving forward. We have so many. The big thing is just getting the beacon. Right, buddy? Yeah. But I really want to expand the villagers that we have throughout here. So an idea I had, this might be a little rough to do, but is to build this entire system that we made up there, just a second one of it right down here underneath it. I think that could work out really, really well for us. I guess that means I need a bunch of observers, and why is an iron golem in there? How did you get in there? What are you doing? Why? Sorry, I'm looking at your butt. We got all the melon seeds and pumpkin seeds we could ever need, so that's really good. We've got the dirt, we've got the glowstone, probably. I just need to make a bunch of pistons and a bunch of observers. And unfortunately, we're really low on iron over here, so I don't think I have enough to do that. And how's the redstone count doing? That's not very big either. I think we gotta do some mining. Now we have a brand new member here on Empires, and they are currently live streaming which is absolutely awesome. We have our final member of the server here. There are now 12 people here and it's absolutely amazing, but I wanna see if we can find Shelby because she's literally stranded in the jungle, about to starve to death, and we could do the old flip patented baked potatoes. Trying to find somebody in the jungle when you have absolutely no idea how to traverse the jungle and no idea which direction they made in a absolutely massive jungle. Yes, yeah, is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. You know what this seems like a great job for? The spyglass. It really doesn't help. Everything's just green. <gasps> there she is. I see her. I found her. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. The spyglass worked. I don't know if she has a voice modded style yet. You can have some potatoes. It's fine. <laughs> we have to at least act like we're a good neighbor to begin with, right? We have to at least be kind of nice to start with. Okay, so now, now back to the mining. I was walking back home and I found this random tunnel leading underground into my lands. And I have no idea who could have done this or who would have done this. I'm from the far side, basically come back from Shelby's place, who would be the farthest neighbor now to the east. I don't know who's been down here, but they left all of the resources behind. So we're using this cave and a mine shaft. Okay, cool. That's scary. Oh, hi. I should have left that water in there. Okay, goodbye. Mine in all the blocks. Yay. That was only two. Mine in all the blocks. Woo, they're everywhere. Yay. More iron, woo, look at that, wow, yay. Torches, woo, iron pick. Rails though, we need rails. Um, I think I just found a geode. If this is a new one that we haven't explored yet, that's amazing. What's this down here? Somebody's been here to lava, and then uh, a strip mine? I'm so confused. Who is this? Well, into the geode we go. We are definitely still in the plains biome, so this is my land here. I'm very curious to know who's been around. Nobody's touched this yet. That is amazing. It's an uncracked geode. Wait, I thought they could only come as cracked geodes. This is beautiful. Geode claimed by ruler of these lands, Count Fwip. I was digging straight up so I could figure out where the heck this thing pops out into, and we found another section of the mine shaft and a giant spooky scary ravine. Okay, there's iron. There's giant chains and a flaming skeleton. Why does it have to have a flame bow? Okay, well, that's fine. I want to gather those chains. I want, I want, I want those chains. Glowberries and a name tag. Love it. Wow, we are really getting a lot of glowberries down here and another golden apple for ourselves. That's amazing. And I think there, yeah, that is some iron. Nice. Oh my God, I see another geode with an enderman on top of it. <gasps> we might have a second geode. Oh, we're gonna get so much calcite. I need a lot of that for the castle build. So this is very, very good. I will say though, it does look really, really cool. And the last thing I wanna check out is wherever the heck that geode was. Look at all those cobwebs though. Oh, amazing. There it is. Let's jump down on it. We should be able to get in all the way down here. Just make sure nothing's gonna follow us. And we're on fire. Okay, there we go. I believe everybody is dealt with now. Look at all of this smooth basalt and everything in here. All right, let's see. Has anybody tapped into this one yet? Yes. I think it's the exact same one because there's a sign down there. Got excited for nothing. 
What smart individual left this sign down in the geode? Huh, what a great guy. So you're telling me that there's a cave system right here and a ravine right over here that I never even realized. Okay, well on that note, I think we go home. So we popped up right over here. Oh, there goes Pearl. Yep, that's a pearl, right? I put my spyglass away, I can't tell, and she's gone. Okay, well anyways, we popped up literally right here. That is great to know that there's a geode right under this point that we can go gather from. Marking that with a bunch of torches so I'll actually see it. I gotta get one of those fancy smancy elytra things here soon. Oh man, walking everywhere? Maybe I am poor. The total haul from our mining expedition is right here, my friends, so I think it's time that we uh, break all this stuff down and see what we're actually gonna get. Fortune three, here we go. That right there is one full inventory of mined materials, my friends. All right, it is time to smelt all this iron down and uh, get to work on that project down there. Coal, you go in there. Iron's going first, and then the copper and gold. I think while that stuff is smelting down, I'm gonna go ahead and AFK for a while up at the gunpowder farm because we can never have too much gunpowder there. And well, I just got some new patio furniture and the new house and everything, and uh, I gotta go build it. So that seems like a great excuse. Let's AFK for gunpowder while I do some chores around the house. Yay! Oh, I'm in a hole. I, oh God, the one hole, the one hole I fall into. And with this final water bucket right over here, I've got everything that I need to build this farm. Surprisingly, not many resources go into it after you get these guys, but I guess it doesn't include the collection system. So I might as well get this thing built out and then we'll get the collection system rocking below because I kind of want to redesign this whole thing over here. But with that, my friends, super fast pumpkin melon farm round two, let's go. There it is, my friends. This thing is all ready to go, and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm not sure if I could have slid this one block closer going upwards because these guys occupied that block space, and I was worried that redstone dust would have problems with the blocks of redstone up there, so I figured let's just leave it down there and have that extra room in there if we need to get in and all. Now, that was an absolute mess where I had to run back down into the mines way too many times to keep getting more redstone because I kept running out, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to solve that here soon. Might have to just do a full-on redstone mining mission day at some point but for now we've got double farm action rocking i've increased the size of the storage system down here too and i've just got to wait a little while for all these stems to grow up and then it's really going to kick into gear but i will say while i was running around i came across something over here not only is there that iou by the way you smell sign there's now a chest in here and from earlier i think i'm gonna stand in between all of these blocks and open it are we gonna die? No, no, we're not gonna die. That's great. Okay, book and quill, overgrown allium. Is that Catherine? She is the ruler of the overgrowth. What do we got here? Hello, you have been found with a flower from the overgrown. Please report to House Blossom and offer tribute at the fountain. Once you ask for permission to take, you will be granted to pick any flowers you may need. Big smiley face. That's what my face is doing right now too. But now my friends, I think it's time that we run over to House Blossom to see what the heck is going on with this overgrown allium right here and uh, say hello to Catherine. There it is, that must be the watchtower of House Blossom over there. All right, we are getting close, my friends. Doing hello. Hi, uh, what you doing out here? Um, I received a flower at my base and a I... mysterious book. Me too, me, me too. Interesting. Okay, it, I, I have no idea what's going to go on here. Um, I'm, I'm <laughs> a little either. concerned, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I read a book and it was like, bring tribute. And I was like, does that mean this flower? Should I have brought gold? I, I don't... Offer I tribute. Exactly oh, oh, that's awkward. Do you think th this will pass? I mean... Uh... That's about all I got on me. <laughs> yeah, I... 
I, I, I should have thought, actually, Catherine does kind of like having some heads around, almost as yeah. much as you do, This actually. was, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know who likes them. This was freshly harvested in the nether on the way over here, because I forgot gold armor, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, w worth taking the opportunity, I guess. Um, yeah, might as well. In here. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Are you oh, making fun hi. of my trees? <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't sure if you, you're going for, like, the I, UFO kind uh, of look. I, I just couldn't reach that much, you know. <laughs> this is the Fountain of House Blossom. The, the book said to bring tribute, and we weren't entirely certain what that means. We got these It could flowers. be anything. Right. Anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a kind of... Anything? Leave what you can, and <laughs> yeah, Flip immediately offers you a... What is this? <laughs> it's a head. Ooh. I like heads. Have you not seen these ones? <laughs> look at those guys. No. Look, it's got ears. <gasps> look at the little girls. ears on the side. <laughs> no, they're anime it's girls. The uwus. It, it's the uwu <laughs> girl from the Nether. I love that. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, you give it the pig head first, and then I'll stuff the apple in the <laughs> okay. pig head's mouth. And that'll... just a full-on <laughs> feast over here. Got it. Yeah, it's basically, a medieval it's a, it's feast. A Do it's I want to? I don't know if I want to stand right there. I'm a little worried. Well, it's it's nice. It's nothing bad. No, just this, things this have guy... happened with chess on this server recently. It's just yeah, rough this, standing. This, what do you mean? This, no, I, I, this guy may, I, I may have found a trap chest at my base earlier that he knows absolutely nothing about. <gasps> no, so, no nothing, uh, nothing, nothing. Are you planting explosives? <laughs> no, so it didn't have any explosives, explosives no, involved. No. Come on now. Okay, Who do you think okay, Honestly, okay. I'm, I might have preferred explosives because it would have helped me dig out my storage room a little bit, but... <laughs> Hey, right, I helped you go. dig out a lot of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in the wrong direction, but I'm, I'm, you know, it, I'm, I'm making it work. I'm making it work. While you're here, no pressure or anything, but feel free to consider pledging your loyalty to House Blossom in the newly refurbished Tower of Trust. Oh, that's what the Tower of Trust is. We thought we just yes. we just had to like not kill each other while we were here, but no, this is a the no. House Blossom. That's, that's it's, it's as just, bad as far uh, as the trust option, went so far. An option for you uh, to think about. I do have a question. Um, mm -hmm. How does House Blossom feel about the COD Empire? Uh, well, we are currently allies with the COD Empire. Oh, hmm. this sounds good to me. This sounds like a, somebody I want to be friends with. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like I'm in a, getting a little cornered against this tree over here. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm friends with everybody. I, I don't think I'm currently trying to... Um, what's the word? be what's the word rivals with people i don't know i can't think of Enemies? words right now i'm sick my brain catherine is broken is, catherine is so pure she can't even remember the word enemies like, how does one be mean oh, yeah, to the another word enemy oh my god my brain is broken <laughs> we need to defend catherine at all costs she's too pure and no oh, yeah we, we can't do it nothing wrong can happen to house blossom we have to keep catherine but I, safe. I wanted to uh especially uh become buddies with mr explodey potion boy because i don't want to get on your bad side you you you're safe cod boy i don't know about cod boy i, mean, I don't I, know maybe you'll survive but then you can I'm, just do it again i think i'm good i think i i, I got this i mean i survived a full trap made by this hey 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 hey, hey I, trust I, trust <laughs> trust right i feel like i feel like i can do anything right now here we go okay Die! I'm good. I think I'm good. No! <laughs> I, I've survived. Trust. Eternal trust. Wow. <laughs> He's avoided the head giving ceremony. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. House Blossom is as peaceful as we thought. So you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's, 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 I'm a little nervous. A little, it's a little high up here. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Okay. We're just well, doing double back flip, <laughs> swan dive. Go! <laughs> He might have taken Wait, a little bit too jump? much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no jumping. Do it again. <laughs> I did the trust fall. You can't make me do it twice. You did what Jimmy did the first time. <laughs> ah! Ow! Why no? Why? Wait, I landed in water. Why are you attacking me? <laughs> I thought it was the head giving ceremony. You jump off and then heads happen. Yeah, but it wasn't my turn. <laughs> I'm supposed to go last. <laughs> what are these fire arrows? Are you running from your obligation to House Blossom? Obligation? I I, I, I jumped off the tower. I, I the gave word? an offering. We've already proven he that. Didn't, I don't know he didn't die. Way. He didn't die. You didn't kill him. Oh well, yeah, he he didn't earn it yet either yet. Yeah. I mean, my 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 pledge of trust was perhaps a little bit more authentic. I want to say. Why? 
Uh, I mean, he, he's like, are you, are you allied with the Cod Kingdom? <laughs> he's got, I mean, he's yo, got I'm just trying to protect my protect my bases over here. It's fine. Want to give me your heads? Then I will leave. No, 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 no! Flip! Oh. Scott! Scott! Scott, don't Scott. run away! Save me! She's chasing Scott. me! Scott, she's chasing me! Scott, Scott. she's chasing me! She's Scott. chasing me! I didn't have my audio thing on and that was horrible. She's still. chasing me! Whip she's chasing me! me I was, him. Okay, he second, wanted children, to jump off children, the Tower children, of Trust children, okay, to be me, trusted I had to with House Blossom and he avoided death. I jumped off the Tower of Trust. I jumped off the Tower of Trust. I, jumped off the tower of trust. I died and now she's trying what? to kill me again. Yo, you died because you jumped off. I was supposed to kill you against your head and you avoided because it I did and what? ran away because, and he blew up my land. I, I jumped off the what? The Tower of Trust. You jumped I, I, off of it, but I was supposed to kill you with my sword, and you were supposed to give me your head, and you did I not. I jumped off the Tower of Trust, and I managed to die just by jumping off. I I did my part. That's because you jumped too high. So I oh, jumped. Yeah, did you jump off rather than walk off? I jumped, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're meant he to pulled walk. A I mean, Instructions were unclear. No, Instructions fair, said to jump. To be fair, Catherine, if you see, like, you go up a Tower of Trust, you do think to jump off. I'm not, I I will say that, like, if, it's, if two different people have now done it on two separate occasions, it might be something you maybe need to reconsider. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of rules after the fact after jumping. That's, there is um, no, 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 no. He blew up my land. He blew it up? Like six times. She attacked me. You're supposed to give me your head. Oh God, Catherine's got a bed. She's already ready. Oh I'm my ready goodness, to she die. came prepared. See, I'm ready to die for my friends. You can't um, say that, can you? Hm. There's friends? a chest for all of friends. Your um, what? Okay, yeah, so the answer was yes. It, it was 89% yes. Um, okay. You both did agree, so if you pop your things into your chest. Fine, yeah, fine. I, I democracy has spoken. We love democracy okay. here. Okay, so you can do it now. Goodbye. Yay! There you go. There I just need to put this head. in a safekeeping spot so it doesn't get stolen. He's just, the way he's standing with his head Yeah. Down. He's making it easy. He's showing the net. You can get one queen swoop. Flip. I'm sorry, but this is for friendship. Don't push him off the cliff. Hey, hey, wait, Don't stop, push him don't off the cliff. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so I, I just, I would like to say that uh, you still don't have Pixorf's head, so. No, I don't. So he's still so, on the poo-poo list yeah. for now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we agree that Pixorf's is on the poo-poo list. And yes. uh, Scott, mm -hmm. we agree that uh, Jimmy's on the poo-poo list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we all, and Pix and what? Jimmy are allies, so we agree they're both on the poo-poo list. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we're friends. So we're friends. Bad guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catherine just throwing away her Jimmy Allen shit like that. <laughs> like, no. it took nothing. No. It took absolutely no. nothing for us and, to get and video evidence and like, yes. <laughs> I'm live to 1,200 people that just heard Catherine. I Catherine's didn't say like, yes. anything. You did. You said, mm-hmm. You, you said, mm-hmm. I, mm -hmm. just, and I just agreed on what you said. I didn't say I was yeah, that's what I mean. You uh, just said Jimmy's on the poop list. I just... And there we go, my friends. We've got the first gravestone filled out here in the graveyard. And I think that's going to do pretty great for ourselves over here. But my friends, that is going to have to do it today. And I've got to leave you all with some very important piece of information. The name of the lands of our empire. I finally decided, after all the amazing comments in the last episode, decided to wait as long as I could and see if any new ones came through. But one stuck out to me more than absolutely anything. Well, I guess a version of a name that was recommended in there, but the name for our empire here, my friends, is going to be the Grimlands, because we're using Deep Slide Everywhere, which used to be known as Grimstone. For about a week during the snapshot period of Caves and Glyphs, this block was known as Grimstone, and I love that. That fits perfectly with everything we've got going on here, so super excited for that, my friends. Hit me up down in the comments below with hashtag Grimlands. If you're still watching this video at this point right here. But my friends, thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy today's video. And our love in Empire's SMB helps me out a bunch. So I really do appreciate it, my friends. But that is all I got time for today. If you're excited for more Empire's action, be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. And with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.